The U.S. Department of Labor estimates 288,000 agricultural workers have experienced some kind of disability, whether it be a loss of all or part of a limb, or even a chronic health condition. Rick Trepto reports that Georgia has between 25,000 and 35,000 individuals with some type of disability. A farm will now be constructed in South Georgia to make new technology available to them and one that will educate all of us. Here is his story. It seemed like a natural uh, place to, to pursue a location. It's, we, we knew we had land. In fact, the University of Georgia's AgriAbility Farm will be located on three to four acres directly adjacent to the microgen on the UGA Tifton campus. This ceremony was on the farm site. The AgriAbility project in general is funded by the USDA. Um, this AgriAbility Farm idea, which we put in our proposal as something that we were going to attempt to uh, sort of create our own funding and, and develop. So right now we're looking at trying to find uh, donors and, and grants to uh, fund some of the major things that we want to do. We have donations already uh, from, from, from several uh, companies like John Deere. Um, but, uh, you know, we just have to per pursue that and, and kind of have a grassroots effort to, to bring the money in. Hopefully we can also uh, uh, identify some uh, help at the state and federal level because uh, programs for disabilities are, are in, in existence in our country. Uh, we need to tap those in for agricultural or related disabilities. Dr. West has had a brother with a disability and his program. wife works in special uh, education. He said he's not too surprised at the large number of handicapped people who are still contributing by living and working on a farm. But if you think of the number of challenges that can face people, it's not just loss of limb or paralysis. It can be a person with diabetes and it's affecting their eyesight, <laughs> a person who can't hear uh, very well. I would be sitting in the seat now and this would take me right over. Put me right there in the seat of the tractor and I would transfer in. And if we can't get past the steering wheel, we can also take the steering wheel off. Since being stricken with again, polio at age five, Hubert Von Holten had always wanted to carry on his family's tradition of farming, and he did. But for the past 30 years, he's also designed and built approximately 1,500 adaptations of farm equipment. We have to design it to fit the individual. And then on top of that, you have to fit it to the individual tractor because no one lift will fit all tractors because they're all different. So it's a, it's a complete design from, hello, how are you? What's your problem? What do you want to do? And from that point on, we just build a piece of equipment for the individual. And one of the reasons for building the AgriAbility Farm on this site was to use some of the current technology from the University of Georgia's Tifton campus. Once complete, this one-of-a-kind facility could be a national disseminator to health care and physical rehab professionals of solutions that will enable farmers, members of their families, and their workers to return to work. It will also be open to the public and school groups to see areas like Machinery Row. We're going to have some tractor cabs which have a lot of different adaptations to them which will include um, hand controls, <laughs> specialized tractor seats which could be air suspension seats and they're going to be on simulation pads which is really neat because you could get in and actually feel what it would be like on different farm terrains if you were in this cab. And then it came time for the official first sign of construction. <laughs> the organizers hope to have part of the farm functioning by the end of 2010. In Tifton, I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.